Today, we are going to discuss and show examples of how to teach children to make requests. This training is designed for teaching children who make some type of vocalizations on a regular basis but do not use words to make requests. Upon completion of this video, you should be able to identify and create teaching opportunities and prompt appropriate vocal requests from your child. There are multiple advantages of teaching children to vocalize the requests. If children do not ask for the things they want, they might cry or tantrum to get the things. Teaching a more appropriate way of requesting may decrease problematic behavior. This may lead to having a more positive interaction with your child because now they have an easier way to access to their wants and needs and you and others will not have to guess about what your child wants. By teaching your child to vocalize their requests, you will promote independence by teaching them how to access their wants and needs in their natural environment. Although there are other types of requests, the type of requests covered in this video are requesting access to a specific item, requesting help or assistance, and requesting actions from another person. Examples of what children might do to indicate interest in an object or activity include looking at a specific item, pointing, reaching, or crying. When you see your child doing this, it is a great opportunity to prompt them to use their words. You can do this by telling them what they should say to get what they want or asking them what they want. One way to create an opportunity is to create motivation by withholding your child's favorite food or drink for several hours or days before creating the opportunity for them to request it. In the presence of your child, eat their favorite snack and wait to request or show interest. If you see your child looking or gesturing toward the item, prompt them to use their words. As soon as they request, give them a small part of the food. This will provide multiple learning opportunities. Let's see how it's done. Say, I want chips. I want chips. Nice, here's a chip. I want chips. Awesome, here's another chip. Initially, the length of request should be based on your child's current level of communication. For example, if your child only uses one word at a time to communicate, prompt them to say the name of what they are requesting. Over time, you may gradually increase the length of the request you require. You may have to repeat your prompt several times, but always wait at least five seconds to give them a chance to respond. As soon as they make a request, give them access to the item. If they do not vocalize a request, do not give the item to them. It is also important to minimize your prompts so that your child learns to request on their own. You can do this by waiting for them to initiate a request, and then, if they don't, ask them what they want. There are several ways to create opportunities for your child to request help. A few examples include hiding or putting a favorite toy out of reach, or instructing your child to do something they have never done by themselves before. Here's an example. What's wrong? I need help iPad. Here's the iPad. There are multiple reasons your child might request action from another person, including to ask for attention, request someone to play with them, to push them on a swing, and then stopping and requiring your request to continue. Let's see an example. Let's play. Now, here are three tips to promote success as you teach your child to vocalize requests. Number one, be creative when creating opportunities and taking advantage of natural opportunities. The examples we provided are only a few of the many opportunities you may use to teach your child to vocalize requests. Number two, once your child has had success with some prompted opportunities, remember to give them the chance to make requests without your help, and when help is needed, to provide the least amount of help required to get an appropriate request. This will help your child become an independent requester of his or her wants and needs. Number three, have your child make a wide variety of appropriate requests to multiple people in many different locations. This will help your child learn to use the skill in many different situations. 